Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'll teach you how to visualize music in Blender Eevee or Blender 2.8. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. And before we start, make sure to download the latest version of Blender 2.8, which you can find in the description. Okay, so let's start off by changing the scales of the object. So set the X and Y scale to 0.3 and then change the set scale to 2.5. And then we need to move the object 2.5 units on the set axis so that the origin point can be moved to the bottom of the object at the 3D cursor. So set the origin to the 3D cursor so that when we scale the object, it's going to scale from that point. And now we need to duplicate this object five times. So click Shift D, X, then one to move the duplicated object one unit on the X axis. Then click Shift R to repeat the previous actions. Okay, and now we have uh, six bars, so uh, let's add the music. Okay, so drag down the uh, top right corner, and then change this one to a video sequencer, and then click add, and then add the uh, sound. And you can download the exact same song in the link in the description, or you can use your own music. And then just find the folder with the uh, music, and then select it, and then click add sound clip. Okay, and when you play the animation, it's going to play the music. And uh, next to the song name, there is a number, and that is the amount of frames the uh, song lasts. So just insert it into the end frame, so that the animation lasts for as long as the music. The next step of this tutorial is to animate the graphs. So let's start off by changing from the video sequencer to the graph editor. And... Um, then we need to go down to uh, the uh, bottom left and click on keying and then change the active keying set to uh, delta scale and then click on the plus sign to add we only want the uh, graphs to move up and down on this axis so deactivate x and y delta then select the set delta and click key then click bake sound to f curves and then select the song and then change the highest frequency to 120 because that is the range for the first animation graph and then change the attack time to 0 0.015 and by increasing the attack time we decrease the graph speed in the animation so just click bake sound to f curves and as you can see we have the first animation Okay, so let's go to the next graph, just go to frame 1, and then select the second graph, right click to select. And then let's create a file before we continue, so I'm just going to call it tut1, and then click enter to save. Okay, so let's select the second one, then once again click on the plus sign, then deselect the x and y delta, then select the z delta, then click uh, on key, and then bake sound to f curves. Then once again, select the song, and now we need to change the lowest frequency to 120 and the highest one to 250, which is the next range for this uh, second graph. And I click Bake Sound to F curves. And now we have two of the graphs animated, so uh, let's play the animation once again. Let's go to one of the later frames, and as you can see, it works great. So uh, let's uh, pause, and then let's select the third graph. And I'm going to speed up this part because we do the same over and over again. But for the uh, third one, just uh, change the range from 250 to 350. And for the fourth one, you want to change the range from 350 to 600. And then let's select number five. And then go down to keying, the plus sign. And then let's change the range from 600 to 1000. And then number six, 1000 to 10,000. Okay, so now we have animated every graph, so let's go to one of the later frames and play the animation. And as you can see, the animation works great. So uh, let's go up to File, and then click Save As, and create a second file. Click on the plus sign, and then click Save As Blend File, so that we have a second file. 
And then it's finally time to add the lighting and the materials. So uh, let's start off by adding the floor. So click Add, then Mesh, then Plane. And then click S to scale. And left click to confirm the scale. And uh, let's select the lamp, right click to select. And then go to Render View. And then click G to grab the lamp. And then let's change the lamp into a sun. And as you can see, it's already rotated because we rotated it when it was a lamp. And then right click to select the floor and go into the materials, add a new material. And if you want, you can also change the color of the floor. So just add whatever color you want. I like to make it a little bit uh, darker. And uh, then let's uh, change the metallic value to one. And then let's decrease the roughness to something like this. Now, this part of this tutorial is optional. You can skip it if you want to, but I'm going to add an environment texture to the scene so that uh, we get some more interesting lighting. So add environment texture and then uh, click open. And then you can download free HDRI images in the link in the description. And I used the uh, Chelsea stairs for uh, this one. Okay. And then let's go back and open the image. So select the Chelsea stairs and then open image. And as you can see, we have the background image as well. So that uh, we get a more interesting result on a glossy surface. And then I'm going to make the floor a bit darker. So something like this. And then let's select the bars. And I'm going to change the shader to a uh, diffuse material. And then decrease the roughness to uh, zero. And change it to a blue color. So something like this. It doesn't really matter what color you add, so just add whatever color you want. And uh, then click numpad zero to look through the camera. And then lock the camera to view. And then move the camera around until you have a uh, point of view that you like. And I try to make sure that the graphs don't move outside the frame of the camera. So it looks good. So uh, let's hide the overlay. You can also keep it if you want to in the final animation, it doesn't really matter. And uh, let's go into the render settings. So let's start off by increasing the amount of samples, both in the viewport and in the render. So let's set it to 120. And then 120 for the uh, render samples as well. And then let's go to output to uh, choose where we want to save the final animation. So click on the folder icon. Then I'm going to change it in the TMP folder. It doesn't really matter, just save it where we want on the computer. And then click Enter. And then let's change the file format to uh, MPEG video. And then change it to perceptually lossless. And uh, let's add the music as well. If you want the best looking result, I actually recommend changing the file format to AVI JPEG and then setting the quality to 100% and then adding the sound in a separate program. So let's uh, create a new file and let's make a test render to see how long it takes to render each frame. So uh, go up to render and then render image. And as you can see in the render results, it can take less than one second for each frame, which is amazing. So uh, let's uh, go back to uh, 3D view and then let's start rendering the whole animation. And uh, that's it. More EV tutorials coming soon.